My name is and Andreas Cornelius. I'm uh, playing in Parma. I'm a striker and um, I'm from Denmark. You were born in Denmark and have had an important experience with Copenhagen. Can you tell this experience? Yeah, in, in Copenhagen it's, it, was, it's, uh, it was a big uh, thing for me to play in the, in the team. I'm, I'm from Copenhagen and, and um, it's, uh, it was a dream uh, to, to go into the first team. Uh, I played in, in the youth uh, sector of, uh, of Copenhagen since I was 12 years old and I, I went all the way up and, and finished off as a as a uh, as an important player in the first team, and, and uh, we had many good results both in the in the league and and also uh, in the European tournaments. Before arriving in Italy, you wore the Cardiff shirt. What do you think about the Premier League? Uh, I think it's it's a really strong league. Um, I didn't play uh, as much as I wanted. I, I came there as, as a really young player, um, and um, other than that, I, I also had uh, some bad injuries in the short period of time I was there. So it wasn't for me the best experience, uh, but I did. Uh, experience the level and the the, the big uh, uh, how do you say uh, how big the league is and everything around it. You played in Denmark, England, Italy, and France. What are the main differences between these championships? I think uh, the difference between first of all the difference between Denmark and and Italy. Uh, is uh, the quality uh, is, is much higher in Italy uh, in every aspect, but other than that, it's um, it's not uh, it's it's way more technical than the Danish league, um, and um, and that's the biggest difference in in Denmark. The teams are also quite good organized and quite uh, strong physically, but technically, it's it's a whole different level. Uh, and I think in England it's uh, it's a bit more uh, the pace of the game is a bit higher and 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 a bit less uh, tactical. I think that uh, this is changing uh, now when a lot of uh, foreign managers are coming into England. But um, but the the traditional English style of football is without tactics and just a lot of uh, fighting and. Uh, and um, playing with the heart. <laughs> you scored your first career hat-trick with the Parma shirt. Tell us your emotions. Um, it was it was a really a, a great feeling, uh, really a, a great game and um, a big night for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to, to help the team with goals and, and, um, and for me personally it's uh, it was important to score three goals and, uh, and show that uh, I can be very efficient. Your grandparents were at Tardini for Parma Genoa. How is your relationship with your family? I have a really good relation to my family. I have a, a solid, uh, good family. Um, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my, uh, yeah, with my uh, uh, time growing up. Uh, <laughs> Nothing, uh, nothing bad to say about that. So um, the reason why I, I said uh, it was for them, uh, for my for my grandparents, was that uh, it was the first time they watched me. Um, so um, I was just happy to give them a good experience, um, and um, I'm sure they they had a good night as well. You promise us that you will have one interview by the end of the season in Italian. Yes, of course, of course that that uh, I will f f do that for sure. Uh, I still need to to improve and be a bit more uh, confident in uh, speaking. Um, I speak a bit with with some of the boys uh, of the on the team and and uh, but. It's it's still very simple, and uh, it would be uh, it would be a waste of everybody's time if I spoke Italian here because I wouldn't say it a lot. <laughs>
Do you like living in Italy and Parma? I really like it. Uh, so far, it's it's a nice city. It's um, and it's uh, it's easy to to settle in. Um, people are very friendly, and um, it's I can walk around in the city uh, with no problem, and um, and it's it's just a good life. Danish cuisine is not very famous in Italy. Can you tell us your favorite Danish dish? It's it's a hard question. <laughs> no, I mean traditional Danish food is is not uh, really good, but um, things are, are changing now a bit. Uh, we have uh, I'm from Copenhagen, and we have a amazing uh, amazing restaurant uh, scene with. Uh, a lot of different things and, and, and really, really uh, world-class uh, chefs um, and, and it's just uh, amazing to, to eat in Copenhagen. Um, but it's not traditional Danish food, they, 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 uh, they mix it up with different things and, um, and, and have quite a kind of invented a new, uh, a new uh, kitchen of uh, Denmark. Um, but my favorite uh, would still be uh, Christmas food, with, which is uh, a big, um, a big, how do you say, fleskesteg. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's pork in the oven with the crispy, crispy, uh, crisp, uh, I don't know how to say it, but on the top. and. Uh, some brown uh, gravy and um, pot potatoes and um, some uh, some other different things uh, and it's it's just uh, traditions and and I love uh, tradition that it brings together the family and and then um, that's uh, that's actually for me the most important thing about food. What is your favorite Italian food? I love everything that that the, the nutritionists don't want me to eat. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the problem here. He don't want me to eat too much uh, carbs, but uh, everything I like is carbs, so <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> I like pasta, risotto, and and all those uh, things, but. Um, he want me to eat some uh, some veggies as well. So, but but no, I I really like uh, all those things, um, and yeah, it's it's amazing, and and it's something that is uh, that the whole world has adapted uh, and trying to do. But but um, it's uh, it's just different when you eat pasta here in Italy. Uh, it just just tastes better. <laughs> Tell us about your best career goal. I score a lot of different goals, and um, I really like uh, the when I do the things I'm, I'm good at, which is um, a good cross in the box, and, and when I come with with uh, good timing and and uh, and head it in or, or kick it in. But sometimes I, I do some different things. There's one goal from Copenhagen where I. I dribble four men and, and in the box and score uh, with my right foot and I will, that will never happen again. So <laughs> that's maybe one of the one of my my favorite goals. Which player do you have the best relationship with? My roommate is uh, is Dejan and uh, we know each other from Atalanta. So we we had a good relationship even even before I came here. Um, and other than that, I think everybody is very friendly, and and um, yeah, it's it's not it's it's not difficult to, to get friends here. Um, everybody is open, and 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 really uh, makes you feel like like uh, like home. Um, I also have a good relationship with uh, with uh, Ricky. Uh, he is a nice guy and. Half Swedish, uh, so <laughs> so uh, uh, there's uh, also and he speaks a lot with with Dan, so there's a connection there, of course. But uh, I have, um, I think, uh, 
a good relationship with, with everybody, but um, yeah, we'll see uh, how things, how it will also, uh, think, I mean, friendships will grow and, and uh, uh, in the time I'm here, so yeah, we'll see. Do you like music? What do you listen before training or before a game? I have a really wide taste of music. Uh, I, I I like uh, old classics, and I I also listen to some of the the new uh, songs. Um, I I prefer songs that I can uh, I can remember and and uh, sing along. <laughs> um, so. It's it's a bit difficult with all the rap, but uh, with all the sing-along music, I'm I'm really I'm really happy. You also played in the last World Cup. Can you tell your feelings? It was an amazing uh, and definitely the biggest uh, the biggest thing I've I've experienced as a as a player. Um, I played uh, every competition, almost uh, Champions League. Uh, Premier League and the Serie A, but um, the World Cup is, is something uh, special. Uh, you play for your country, and and you can just feel that everybody is uh, is really uh, focused and and uh, really cares about what what's going on and what's happening, and and uh, follow the games, and it's just uh, it's just. An amazing feeling that you feel like your whole country is is uh, is looking and uh, is uh, yeah uh, want want uh, the best for the team. How much time do you spend on physical training as well as technical training? It's it's difficult to say. I I at the moment now I don't do. Uh, more than others, uh, I do all my uh, all my preparation before the training, and I do everything that the team does. Um, but when I was younger and I came up in the first team, I, I had to do a bit more because I came up and was a bit more skinny than I am now, and I, I'm I'm very tall, so I had to build on a bit more muscle to 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 uh, have. Uh, to still have power and and um, being able to to move good on the pitch, uh, so so I worked a bit more with the physical part when I was uh, a bit younger, and now I I'm where I want. Uh, so now it's it's just about um, maintaining my my physique and and stay uh, stay uh, ready and and uh, without injuries. Why did you choose the number 11 in Parma? I, I always played with, with 11 when, when I was uh, a kid and, all the, and then also after that in, uh, in Copenhagen and I, it's just, uh, I'm not superstitious uh, in, in any way but um, uh, I don't see why I should uh, change things that work. What is the goal you dream of? I didn't score in the in the World Cup last summer, so I hope that in the uh, the next World Cup in in three years that we will qualify and, and I will score a goal in the World Cup. That's uh, that's that would be that would be uh, a really a big uh, thing for me. Ciao tutti, e forza Parma. <laughs>